Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do a beer from Cloudwater. This is a beer I I picked up from um, Tinning Glass at the Windy Arbor Farm Shop up in Billings on the two mile stretch. I, um, and it is the Triple IPA and this is the transformative power of gratitude. And it's a Laurel and Sabro tip, Triple IPA. And it says it's exclusive, exclusively available from indie retailers as a thanks to those for all they do. It's 10.5% ABV. It says so right there. And Jesus wept. I've just seen the price. <laughs> wow. Right, so it, it was kind of the 17th of March 21. Freshest by the 17th of July 21. Best before the 17th of September 21. And it cost £9.40. No, I didn't buy this. The uh, the good lady bought this for me. Um, but there you go. It's all there. And <coughs> this might be the most I've paid for a cloud water beer. So it better be good. It says on the back, By buying this beer from an indie retailer, you are helping a, helping a small independent business get through a difficult period. And in turn, you are helping more people discover not only the superior variety and flavours of craft beer, but the but the knowledgeable, warm and intimate service you can you can't simply get elsewhere. There's that there. So they're not wrong to be fair. I mean, I wanted to tell a glass today when I, when I bought this, and the and. They were telling me, have you tried this, have you tried that, what do you think of this, what do you think of that, we're getting this in, we're getting that in, you know, and I, it was it's like, wow, we, oh, it's bombardment of of information, and it was brilliant, it was brilliant, you know, the, the, I've been in, into Tin Glass a, a few times before, and no, no disrespect, but they know, they, they know that I do this YouTube channel, um, so they just kind of try and point me into in, into into stuff, but they got loads. Of, they got loads today. Whereas well, they've got a massive amount of Rivington. They've got some nice vocation beer. They've got loads of marble. They've got loads of um, Verdant. Um There's just tons of stuff in there. They've got um, Amundsen's dessert can beers. There's just loads and loads of gear. Anyway, this loads of cloud water, and I picked this up because I thought, you know what, I want something a bit pudgy today. So. Without further ado, let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. I must admit, the last couple of weeks I've done a few tippers or triple IPAs. Um, I just let that, let that die down a little bit. Um, I've done a few triple IPAs and they've all been really good. But a few quads as well, and it, it, it just seems to me that every, everybody's doing a triple IPA doing a quad vocation have done one with, with the uh, with the Zagreb um, Cloudwater have done a couple Brewdog have done a couple um, they've all done Salt have done, done a couple they've, everyone everyone's dipped in their toes into triple IPAs and you know what I can't fault that because it, it, it's kind of like giving giving us the, the consumer they look at us and they go this is what we can do. This is what we're capable of doing. So happy days. Right, so, stupidly poured, obviously. We've got ourselves three fingers, Dentica Pat Whitehead. Um, beer itself, um, extremely hazy. The hazy orange from this side, it looks like a, from, from there down. Looks like a bit of a, a, sort of a, a cordial or a fruit juice. Um, Grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, colour what you want, that's what it looks like. And we'll see. We'll see what we get. Let's go for it. Right. I'm gonna take it first of all, I'll take a little bit of head away. Right. Let's go for the nose, see what we can smell, if anything. Let's go for it. Wow, right. Peaches, pineapple, grapefruit, oranges, and a woody coconut. The coconut shavings, that type of thing. 
That's that smells delicious. It smells good. Let's go for the bunion carb. Cheers. It's got that woody finish. Right, so body wise, it's medium to heavy bodied. Um, it's, it's got that woody feeling to it. Um, combination is just soft and light and non existent, to be fair. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Creamy. It's cocoa It's woody. It's earthy. But at the same time, there is grapefruit. There is um, orange. There is pineapple. There's a little bit of the tropical. So and that's really. It's very really subdued, if I'm being honest with you. Um, But that massive, there's a, there's a, a big coconut woody hit. I taste. It tastes. I say it's creamy, it's coconut and it's woody. That's a really nice tipper. It's not, it's not what you usually get with, with tippers, you usually get with, with, with tippers, you get, you get toffee, uh, sort of like butterscotchy stuff, and you get loads of big massive hits of grapefruit and stuff like that. This is not, this doesn't work either. This is going to get big bits of, back end wise, you get big bits of coconut, wood, desiccated coconut, creaminess. It's lovely. Coconut milk, actually. No, creaminess, coconut milk. Right, so what we'll do, I'm going to finish, it, finish this off camera. I'll swap these over. I will wrap this review up. So, Cloud Waters, the transformative power of gratitude. Lol and Sabro Tipper, 10.5%. Do I like it? Yes. Will I buy it again? Yes. Well, I did. There was no good lady bought it for but yes, I want to buy it again. Um, would I recommend this to friends? The tipper lovers, definitely. It's 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 nice. It's it's different to what we normally get with the tipper. So if you had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put it in the comments in the comments box below. We'll put a link to the Cloud Wars website also below. Not sure if you can get it off the website. I don't know. I didn't look. I apologize. Thumbs up like the video. Thumbs up if you don't subscribe in that bottom corner. And I will see you in the next one. Stay, let's stay safe. Hell yeah.